What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys another guide for Pokemon Legend Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing all the unknown locations within this game. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. We got tons of new Nintendo content coming along the way, alongside with more Legends Arceus guides. So like I said, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the content. But in order to actually start with the unknowns, you just have to beat the Crimson Mylands or not even beat the Crimson Mylands. Start the mission in the Slacing Ruins in the Crimson Mylands. So you legit do it like maybe like two hours into the game. It is not long at all. So once you get that going, you can start collecting unknowns to complete your Pokedex. But we're going to be going breaking this down area by area. And starting off with the first one, we're going to be doing Jubilee City. So let's get right into this. But Jubilee City has three unknowns. You got one back here, one back here, and one here. I'm going to have them stamped up on the map and show you guys where at on the map and where I have to catch them. So for the first one, it is right at the front gate. Look at this little boy. See him right up on, on that thing. I'm going to pull out our Pokeballs. And you know, I'm just going to throw a great ball at him. And just be like, boop, and snatch them up. And these guys, they cannot pop out a Pokeball. So once you hit them with a Pokeball, they will catch. I'm pretty sure, right? I'm pretty sure every time they will catch. So that's the first one. Like I said, three in Jubilee Village. Three in Jubilee Village. Then we're going to be moving on to the next area, next area, next area. And just keep going down the road until we complete all the unknowns. But yeah, hopefully this guide is definitely uh, helping you guys out. Because the unknowns are a little tricky. They are a little tricky. But for the second one, we're going to head back here. We're going to be doing straight like this. We're going to walk straight up here. And this one is just going to be chilling right here. So I'm going to catch him. And I'm going to show it to you guys on the map as well. So we're going to catch him here. And he is actually back here at this stamp. And then the last and third one is going to be back here behind the house on this stamp. So we're going to catch that one. Wait for him to get caught. And bang, yo. Another unknown in the books. Another unknown in the books. And there is actually a wisp back here, which I, which I will collect. You know what? We're recording. So I'll catch this little wisp for you guys. There we go. Beautiful. Nice little wisp. The wisps are important too because you can use them to get Spirit Tomb and complete your Pokedex. Okay, so the third and final one is going to be... Where is it at? It should be back here somewhere, right? I believe it is back here. Unless it's at the front. Hold up. Where is it? Up. It should be over here, right? I believe it's on like the Magikarp or something. There it is. See it? Just locate it right up there on the Magikarp. You're going to need Jet Balls for this one or any kind of flying, flying ball. I got a Feather Ball. You can see them like right there, right where my Pokeball is at. So jet ball flies a little up, so I kind of like to aim a little bit down. Just have the jet ball fly, and we just missed him a little left. There he is, yo, just chilling there. He's a tough one. There we go. Hit him with that one, and there it is, guys. All the unknowns for Jubilee Village. Let's head to our first area, the Obsidian Fieldlands, and showcase all the unknowns in that area. Here we are in the first area of the game, the Obsidian Fieldlands, and this location has five unknowns in it. They are all located on the map. We got one over at Lake Viridi, the Grueling Grove, Obsidian Falls, the uh, Tidewater Dam, and back at the Grand Tree area. So let's get right after this. Let's get rolling in here and find ourselves some unknowns. So the first location we're going to head to is going to be Lake Viridi, and one of these unknowns on this map, cannot wait to show it off, is probably one of the coolest ones. Like, it's super, super cool. A few of them you actually need to be, like, higher level to get. Like, one of these you will see you will, you will need Sneasler. In order to get it so might want to wait till post game to actually collect all these guys or not even post game until you have all the uh all the rideable pokemon but the first unknown is going to be straight over here at lake viridity i'm just going to go right here and it is legit just located on the ground right here. you come right behind this rock look at this my boy is just chilling here look at him just chilling right on the ground i think this is letter i gotta be letter i just chilling right there so we're just gonna throw a great ball at him bang easy catch another unknown in the bag Next area I want to head to is going to be the Grueling Grove. And you know what? I'm just going to fast travel to, uh, actually, we'll do Obsidian Falls first. Yeah, I like that. We're going to fast travel to this uh, Heights Camp right here. Just make our life 10 times easier. And we're going to head straight over to Obsidian Falls. It should be right here. I see you, Obsidian Falls. I see you, Obsidian Falls. So we're going to fly over here. Go get ourselves these two unknowns. And then we're going to make our way back and get the last two. Once you know where the unknown locations are, they're kind of not too hard. But I did it on my other game. This is why I know where everyone is at pretty simple pretty easy but it is fun to actually collect them and not even look them up yourself it is really really fun to do that but we make your way towards the obsidian falls and if you climb up here with sneezler make your way over to this uh, middle rock there should be an unknown just chilling here why can't i see him i think he's on the other side that is why i think i have to make my way over here so let me just keep running up this mountain hey chill on me let me just keep running up this mountain and look on this next side i'm all on sneezler sneezler's the best at traversing all the rocks Come over here. Yep, there he is. Just chilling right there. Right on this rock. Letter, what is that? E? What, what is it? Z maybe? I don't know. It looks weird. It looks weird, but there it is. Another unknown in the bag. And now we can just hop straight on our bird again and grow, go towards the grueling grove, which is just straight up here towards the left. I'll showcase it on the map. We want to fly all the way over here and go over to the grueling grove. There's one little unknown. I think it's letter E. 
if I remember correctly, I think it's letter E. Just chilling in the tree, rocking out over there. Really, really cool. But yeah, dude, the unknowns are amazing. They remind me of Korok Seeds of Breath of the Wild, but Korok Seeds went above and beyond with it. They really did. The Korok Seeds went crazy with it. Like, how do you put 900 Korok Seeds for a terrible item? For an absolute terrible item. At least, at least when you unlock the, when you finish the unknowns, like, you're actually doing it for something. You're doing it for your Pokedex in order to get certain stuff. But right here at the Growing Grove, if you look up in the tree, look at that. Yo, letter E, just chilling there. And how do we miss that? How do we miss that one? We smoked the tree and missed them. But there it goes. Throw another Pokeball at him and catch that lovely unknown. From here, we're going to head over back to the Heights Camp. Just make your life 10 times easier and go down to the Tidewater Dam and into the Grand Tree Arena. We got two more left. Like I said, these unknowns aren't too hard to find once you know where their location is at. But other than that, they're kind of tough to find, to be honest with you. They're kind of a pain. But I got to head this way. Yep, over towards the Tidewater Dam. There's one at the dam and then there's one over at the Grand Tree Arena. So let's fly, yo. Braviary makes this game so much easier. He makes everything so much easier, especially from a recording standpoint. So I don't have to run around on feet. I can just kind of just like cruise around with my boy Braviary. So we'll make our way here. We'll head over to the Tidewater Dam. And if you come over towards these, uh, can I get off this rock? Towards these little wood piles that are creating the dam, you can actually find yourself a lovely little unknown chilling on the side of it. I see him right there. He's over here and I'm traversing. I got to go on my Bastion Legion. And he's legit just chilling right there. Hey, uh, how'd I miss that one? How did I miss that one? This one might be Z. Well, it might be S. But there you go. There's another unknown. Now let's head to that Grand Tree Arena and get the last one. Who are the Obsidian Fuel Lands? So I have a fast travel point there. Might as well use it, right? Make life 10 times easier. And this is the really cool one that I was talking about. The really, really cool one that I was talking about. So can I, like, get up in here? I gotta walk around this thing. So this is the one that you need Sneasler for. I'm actually gonna switch to him. And you're gonna wanna start climbing this tree. I'm the tree, baby. This one is so cool. So cool. And which branch is on? It's on one of these branches. I think it's this one right here. Look at him. Just chilling on that branch. <laughs> so if you come over here with Sneasler, you can actually hop off him and you can go back to your person. And then you can just snipe him at the end of this uh, end of this tree. I don't know if you can come back here. You probably can with a jet ball. And maybe hit the back of his head if you want to like get on, get on land without Sneasler. I think you could do that. But there it is, guys. All the Obsidian Field Lands. Unknowns. Let's head to the Crimson Mire Lands and get rolling with that area. Moving on to the Crimson Mire Lands where you guys can find five unknown locations. They're going to be located right here on the map. We got one right up near us. We got one at the Shrouded Ruins, the Diamond Settlement, the Scarlet Bog, and last but not least, one near the Ursa Ring and the Sludge Mount. So let's get started here. We're going to hop on our boy Bravey Ari, and we're going to get rolling right here. And I might have grabbed this one already, but I will still show you guys the location. Might have grabbed this one already, but we'll definitely got to see. But there should be like a little fire pit where you fight the sisters for the first time. Right over here, and an unknown will spawn. And I haven't grabbed it yet, which is wonderful. Look at him, just chilling right there. Bang. Letter D. That is 100% letter D. Just chilling right on the log stump. And now we get rolling onto the next one, which I want to go towards the Scarlet Bog. We'll go towards the Scarlet Bog here. Hop on our lovely little bird, Braviari, and we'll get rolling here. Yari, let's go. Let's get it, baby. But yeah, dude, the unknowns are so, so cool. And once you get all the unknowns, you come back to the uh, Slacian Ruins, which is legit right here. It is right there. And unknowns will start spawning. You can actually get them shiny. And that is how you complete them in your Pokedex. Is by finding all of them unknown. So it's really, really cool. I'm pretty sure you need to complete them all in order to get uh, Arceus. So it is like a mandatory thing if you're trying to 100% this game. So we're making our way here. And we are actually right at the Scarlet Bog. Should be right down here. And yep, we are. Once you head right down here. If you look at this tree right here. Look at my boy. Let me find my Pokeball so I'm not wasting good stuff. Got a little unknown just chilling right on that tree. So there we go. Smoke him with a back shot. That's a guarantee catch me all day long. All day long. And now we're right back on the bird looking at our map. And we want to go down to the sludge mound, which we are already on our way to. It's perfect. Lovely. Gotta love it. Yo, we're cruising through these unknowns. Hopefully, you guys do find this guide informative and are enjoying the content on the channel. Always a good time. Always a good time on the Jeans YouTube channel. But well, we're super close to it. We just got to fly down here and find a little area that I'm looking for. Should be near the water, I believe. Should be near the water. Is it over here? Uh, it might be right here. Yeah, I'm right under it. I think it's right down here. Nope, I see it. It's right in the Ursa Ring. Uh, the Ursa Ring. Come right here. There should be a little log, and you guys can see. Yo, my boy Unknown is just chilling right inside of it. And that's gotta be O, right? That's gotta be O or M. Could be M, but I feel like M would have some points on it. But there we go. Catch that one. Let's get moving on to the next one, which is over at the Diamond Settlement. And you guys know what? I can just straight up fast travel to it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Doesn't get better than that. 
does not get better than that but if you come to the diamond settlement you can come over here towards the right side and if you look on the top of one of these tents it should be this one yep you can find yourself another unknown so there you go there's the fourth one for this area let's finish off this place by finding the fifth one over at the shroud ruins so shroud ruins should just be straight up this way right am i correct i am correct and we're gonna have to do some climbing make your life easier obviously you don't have to climb to get this one but since we're right here on the face of a mountainside i'm gonna make my life and just pop my sneezer climb sneezer climb baby love it love love the old sneezer yo and i'm just traversing straight up here but once you make your way to this ruins you should just be chilling on this rock right here yep there he is my boy smoking with a pokeball and that's that that looks like k that does look like k so we're gonna catch letter k right here which is gonna be the fifth and final unknown in the crimson Mylands. so now we can head to the third area which is going to be the cabal coastlands over at the Cobalt Coastland, you guys can find yourselves another set of five unknowns here. They're going to be located on the map. One at the uh, Turnback Cave, one at Fire Spit Island, one over here in the ocean, one at the Lunker's Lair, and last one's going to be at the Dreadwood Haunt. And that's exactly where we're going to go first. Straight to the Dreadwood Haunt, let's hop on the Braviary, and get cruising over there. What would I do without this Braviary? This thing just gets cooking. This thing just gets cooking. It is amazing. But Bash is going to be great here as well. Considering there's a lot of ocean to work with, we can kind of just steam through the ocean and get rolling from there. So, I kind of already see the destination that we're at, but we're just going to ride out Braviary as far as we possibly can go. Until we hit the water, because then we can just straight up switch to Basque Legion and just ride him. Because he cooks as well. That dude flies as well. But Braviary is obviously where it's at. It's definitely where it's at. And we're going to hit this, and we're just on it with Basque Legion. Hit that little speed boost, and we're almost at our first destination, which is going to be that ship right there. That little sunken ship. You guys should have known something was up with it when you first saw it. Because why would there just be a random sunken ship randomly just in this game? But if you head over here, if you look at the top of the crow's nest, just chilling straight there, you guys can see a lovely unknown just chilling up there. Can I snipe it from here? No, we need to be a lot closer. We need to be a lot closer. Can I hit it with this? Or am I getting out jet balls? I have to get out my jet balls. There we go. That works perfectly. Hit that thing with a Pokeball. And there it is. One unknown in the bag for the Cabal Crow's Nest. Next one is going to be located straight over here. Which is going to be near the gateway with those little arches right there. I think it actually might be on one of them. I think it is. If you come to the back side, I think it's on the back side of one of them. So we're just going to make our way all the way over here. And we're going to get to it. We're going to get after it. And you are going to need Basque Legion for this one. But by the time you get to this area, you will have Basque Legion. Unless you want to use a uh, jet ball, which you probably can from here. You guys see him. He's right here. He's legit chilling right up there. We're just going to go right here. We're going to throw our lovely little Pokeball. And we're going to smoke him. And there's two down. Three to go for this lovely little area. So, we're going to make our way over here. This is where we just caught it. And now we're going to go to the Lunker's Lair and catch ourselves the next one. The next lovely little unknown. And this one's a little tricky. You could actually go to the top and climb all the way around to get it if you do not have Sneasel at this time. But since I have Sneasel, I'm just going to hop straight up onto this rock. And we're going to get climbing to it. We are going to get climbing to it. So, you know, I'm just going to switch to Braviary, get some air boost here. And we're just going to hit our Sneasel once we smoke this rock. Sneasel, let's climb, baby. Get up there, Sneasler. Get up there. So once you make your way to uh, Lunker's Lair, if you climb all the way up here, right on the face of the opening right here, you can see the unknown. You can actually start to see him right now. He's right up here. I see him. He's just chilling right there. I'm just going to bring out my Pokeballs, and I'm going to hit him for our third unknown in this area. Look at him just chilling. Like I said, you can go all the way around. Oh, I got to aim a little higher. Like I said, you can go all the way around normally how you uh do this first time, but without Sneasler, that's how you, can, that's how you guys are going to have to get him. But from here, we're going to Fire Spit Island. And you know what? I'm just going to fly because it's going to make things a lot easier. I'm going to fly because it is going to make things a lot easier. I'm hoping I can actually just fly over top of this area. I'm hoping I can fly over top of this area because if you guys ever flown in Fire Spit Island, there's a lot of invisible walls that you can't get around, which are an absolute pain. But hopefully, we can fly right through here, which we can. Okay, cool. It should be a, yeah. A Lola Ninetales just chilling. Not a Lola. Alpha Ninetales. And the Unknown is just chilling right up on this wall. So you, go, you are going to need a... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. You are going to need a... Jet balls here. Does this thing see me? Please don't see me. Feather balls, jet balls, you name it. Let me switch out my Sneasler. And bring out my feather balls. And we can smoke this boy right here. I threw it a little high. Let me do it here. Bang. There we go. And there is our fourth lovely little unknown for this area. Wait to catch it. And this thing still doesn't see me. Can I hit him with a Pokeball? And now he sees me. And once I aim a Pokeball at him, he sees me. <laughs> Get him out of my face. Get him out of my face. But let's go ahead over here. And I almost died from fall damage. Let's go ahead over here for our fifth and final unknown for the Kaboom Coast, which is going to be at Turnback Cave all the way at the top. So this one, you 100% need Sneasel. You have to be able to climb this uh, climb this little mountain scale. Actually, you, yeah, you definitely need it. There's an Alpha Gash on there. You definitely need Sneasel here or Braviary, but you get Sneasel before Braviary. So 
I'm just gonna say Sneezel. I'm just gonna say Sneezel. We're gonna switch over to our Bashkill Legion, and we're gonna head over to Turnback Cave, which is inside that little crater right there. See that big mountain? You just gotta climb and traverse your way all the way up there. So, back to our weirder. Wow, we're using every single app. Everyone except for Ursa Luna. I feel like I never use Ursa Luna, because I'd rather just, like, fly through areas and get mold from there. But we make our way here, and now I can switch to my Sneezler, and I, I can get climbing. But I'm pretty sure maybe you can do this with Weird Ear. Might be able to traverse up here with Weird Ear just by following this path right here. Maybe. Let someone let me know in the comment section down below if you can or cannot. There's a Wisp there. I'm not going to collect it, but if you guys are looking for more Wisp, they're right over there. But we make our way towards Turnback Cave, and we're going to switch over to Bash Legion. Just get over here one last time. And if you look to the left, can I get up here? Can I get up here, please? There we go. And if you look to your left right here, we got ourselves the fifth and final unknown. Just chilling in the tree right here at the Turnback Cave. So there it is, guys. All the Cobalt Coastland unknowns. Let's head to the fourth area, the Coronet Highlands, and showcase all the unknowns there. At the Coronet Highlands, you guys guessed it. There's another five unknowns. I'll show it to you guys on the map so you guys know exactly where they're at. One is in uh, Wayward Cave. One is going to be at the Wayward Wood, and one is going to be at the top of the quarry, and one is inside the quarry. I just marked the Wayward Wood because that's the entrance to the quarry. And then we got one over here, and last but not least, the fifth one is going to be at the Sacred Plaza. But the first one we're going to get rolling with is the one in Wayward Cave. And this one, honestly, guys, is such a pain. It is such a pain to find because, you know, Wayward Cave is a little confusing, but it is at a, a dead end area. So if you're going to head inside this cave, you're just going to get looking around. You're going to look for a dead end area and just look at the top of the wall, and there should be an unknown. I do not know exactly where that is is that so you might see me running around a little crazy right now so i'm just gonna be looking around trying to find this unknown for you guys um i'm gonna head towards the right here. i don't know why right just feels good to me right now right feels great to me i'm just gonna keep heading right and i'm gonna loop around this way i feel like it might be back here i have a feeling it might be back here if not we're gonna check the other side but i'm gonna head in over here with my basket legion get rolling over to this side i know it's at a dead end so if i can find a little crevice in here where i can hang out at there's a wisp here anything else about right over here Nothing, nothing. There is an Alpha Crobat, which I'm not a fan of. Leave me alone. Do not knock me. Actually, it might be over here. It might be over here, guys. It's in a crevice in the wall. I think it's over here. Is it up here? Nope, just a wisp. But it's in like a crevice such as that. It's just chilling up on the wall. But I got all these bats attacking me. These wish caches. Leave me alone, dude. Leave me alone. But I'm going to head over here. And then if not, we're going to check that backside and the other. Area. So we're looking for this thing. We are looking for this thing. I hear that thing attacking me. Get out of my face, dude. Get out my face. So this is an area we want to go to. Can I actually hit Braviary here? I can indeed. That is lovely. That is lovely. We can actually hit up on Braviary here. <laughs> that is dope. So from here, hey, yo, now I want to hop off him. From here, I'm going to go this way. And another Gibble showing here. Unknown. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you, Unknown. Not Gibbles. Not Gibbles. And this is the wrong area. So let me hop on my deer. Deer would make life a lot easier here. There we go. Hop on the weird deer. Let's check the only other spot he can actually be at, which would be dead ends over on this side. Where's my boy at? Oh, Mr. Unknown. Where you at? Up here? Like I said, yo, chilling at a dead end spot that I cannot find. Kind of annoying me. Kind of annoying me. Let's try it over here. We have a spot right here. Is he up on that wall? No, he is not. Is he over here? Is he up here? No, he's not up there. Where's my boy at? There's only one other spot I feel like we can check. And that would be this way, right? That would be over this way because there should be another route we could take. Or is he up here? Nope, not up there. Where is my boy at? There he is. Right here. Finally, we found him. I've been looking for you. I've been looking for you, but this is actually right near the entrance. We didn't need to run around. Why can't I hit you? We actually save, you know, we're saving our jet balls. I can't hit this one. Can't hit this one. There we go. Hit that one. And there we go. There you go. There you guys go. Another unknown call. But this one is actually right near the beginning. You guys come out this way. It's right near the beginning. But I'm going to actually make my way towards the end. And I'm going to roll out this way because it just makes my life 10 times easier. And I can find you guys unknowns a lot quicker. So we make our way out this way. I can just hit a hard left and make my way towards the quarry, which another one is going to be. At. And I feel like the deer is going to be our best bet here. I can probably just hop over here, land and be a basket legion, and then get rolling from here. Just get rolling from here. And actually, I'm going to get the one above the quarry first. Because if we make our way this way, there's going to be one above the quarry and one inside the quarry. So, you know, let's hop on the bird. Where's my bird at? There's my lovely bird and make our way towards the top of the quarry, which we're going to use the bird and Sneasel just to traverse up the land. Climb, baby. Climb. Switch back to the bird. Get some extra height. And we're going to get rolling. So this next unknown is going to be right where we're at right here at the top of this little peak. I'm going to show it to you guys on the map one last time. Right at the top of the ancient quarry. And you guys can see him just chilling. Can I hop off him without sliding? Of course I cannot. Can I hit him with a jet ball from here? Maybe we can hit him with a jet ball from here. Yeah, give me a jet ball. Give me a jet ball for this one. Please no Pokemon hit me. 
Please no Pokemon hit me. I know Pokemon are seeing me right now, but I should be able to smoke thing with a Jet Ball. There we go. Catch that thing with Jet Ball. And yo, there's an Alpha Gudra. That thing is sick. Do not want to mess with it, though. Do not want to mess with it. But since we got that one, now we can head to the quarry, which the entrance is going to be right over here. Really cool. So it doesn't make for a far trip. They make our way over here. And is the entrance over here? I feel like it is. Yep, there it is. Right there. Just missed it, jeez. Just missed it. Dip down here so we can actually see the, see the land again. And we can just run with the weird ear into the quarry and find ourselves our third unknown for this area. This area actually has really cool unknowns. Really great spots for them. This one is actually one of my favorites. I'll show it to you guys in just a second. But if you come over here, you're going to need Jet Ball for this one. You come over here and you look all the way up. Is it this side? Yep. Look all the way up this side. You can see my boy just chilling there. So I'll throw a Jet Ball there and we'll smoke him first try. And there you guys go. There is going to be our third one out of the five. And now we can actually get moving on to the fourth one. Which I think if we cut back here, it's going to make life ten times easier. Should make life ten times easier. But since I'm here, I'm going to check the map. And yeah, I want to head all the way over here. So I'm just going to hop back on the bird. And we're going to get rolling. Because you know, bird is where it's at. Bird is the word, baby. Bird is the word. And I believe it's this way, right? It is indeed. It is indeed. We got gold bats. We got everybody chilling there. Let's do this. Let's hop back on the bird. Get some more height towards us. And I think I can just go over this mountain, right? Can I? Probably not. I think I might have to. Actually, I should be able to. Yeah, there's rocks and stones up there. I'm climbing up the mountain. Making life easier going over the mountains. Back to the bird. And once we get height, we can pretty much just fly exactly to the location where we want to go. Which should be right here, I believe. Right over here. Right across this water right here. And it might be right here where I'm at. Yeah, it should be right below me. Yep. It's going to be right below me. It is where this little flower patch is at. And if you come over to this flower patch, you can actually get some cool spawns like Clefables, Clefairy spawn here. But more importantly, there should be an unknown just lurking around inside this square. So let me look for him. Where's my boy at? Where's my boy unknown? Where's my Pokeballs at? I said he's just chilling in the grass. Let's see if we can find him. Mr. Unknown, where are you at? He's just chilling in the grass somewhere. Or not the grass, the flowers. Unless there's more flowers on that side. Which there might be. Because I, I thought it was on this side. It might be on this side. Yeah, there's more flowers over here. He should be just lurking right over here. And yep, I already see him just chilling in the flowers. There he is. Right there. Throw a Pokeball at him. There's lucky number four. Let's head to the uh, sacred ruins. And grab ourselves our fifth and final Unknown, but we have a fast travel point, make life 10 times easier, and we're just going to hop on the bird here, because he is a little bit the waist down, but he is going to be on top of one of these pillars, so we're going to fly over here, we're going to keep an eye out on top of the pillars, and we will see him once we uh, once we make our way over there. We cannot miss him, but I believe he's right at this drop off. I believe he should be right here. Yeah, I see him already. He's going to fall right here, and of course I missed the landing spot. Can I get up here? Can I land here? I can land here. Get up there. Get up there. You know, screw it. We're just going to fly and land right on top of him. <laughs> Maybe you already eat again. And did I miss it? Don't miss it. No. Can I land? Can I land? Can I land somewhere? Maybe you being weird. Land right here. There we go. That works perfectly. And we'll just smoke this dude with a Pokeball and catch the last one. Beautiful throw. Beautiful throw. There it is. All the uh, Coronet Highlands unknowns. Let's head to the fifth and final area and catch the final unknowns. The final spot in the game has another set of five unknowns for you guys to catch. They're going to be located right here on the map. We got one near the Icebound Falls, another one underground at the Icebound Falls. We got one all the way up here at the, uh, the Snowfall Hot Springs, and then we got one at Avalog's Legacy, and last but not least, one at the Hearts Craig. So the first one we're going to do is going to be over at the Icebound Falls, and you guys already know what I'm doing. I'm taking Braviary and Sneasler, and I'm climbing all the way up here. But this is the last five that you guys are going to need to complete all the unknowns and unlock them in the Slacian Ruins. But I will still showcase uh, for you guys where the Slacian Ruins is at and how they spawn before we do finish off the video. Because it's just going to take like another minute. Not even. Not even. Not even. But if we make our way over towards... Uh, oh, back to hit my map. If we make our way over towards this uh, falls right here. You can see this little icy path right here. And I believe he should be located... Just hanging out right over here on one of these icicles. Yep, he's just right here chilling on the ground. I'm gonna switch off to my Pokemon and slap up on my fool right there. So there it is, another one caught. We're switching back to the bird because I have to go find this underground area. And I believe it is just straight up over top here. Yeah, we have to make our way over here. And we're gonna find a little hole in the ground. And we're looking for that because I do not know the exact location. But I'm still gonna look for you guys because you know, we gotta find these unknowns. I still gotta find these unknowns on this account. I found them on my other account, which is my stream playthrough. If you guys are trying to catch more content from me. Head over to my stream, Jeans25 on Twitch. We have a good old time over there. But right here is going to be the hole. I'm going to drop down into it, and we're going to get grooving for it. And let's not hit the ground because I do not want to die to fall damage. And, of course, we are still going to take fall damage, but it'd be like that. It'd be like that. I'll just hop down with Sneasler here. Can I hop off Sneasler? There you go, Sneasler. 
We're gonna hop off with Caesar, and then we're just gonna ride our weird deer because you know it makes life ten times easier. Over on out into the middle area here. And if you come over here, there's gonna be Alpha Frost Slash. And if you look at the top of one of these pillars, I believe this is one, isn't it? Yep, this one right here. You're gonna find yourselves yet another unknown. So let me hook a Pokeball up there. Yo, bop, hit him, and now we are out of here because hey, we got this thing right here just teeing off on me. Can I fast travel anywhere? And make my life ten times easier. I think I can. I think I can. Let me actually see. Can I fast travel anywhere? I mean, we have to go towards this area, so I could actually go here, yeah. We're going to fast travel to the Ice Peak Arena and go to the Hot Springs, which our third one is going to be right over here at the Snowfall Hot Springs. So, let's bring out our bird again. Where's my bird? At? And get grooving. Get grooving. And is it this way? It is this way. It's just looped around this whole thing. I'm going to fly, and we're going to get cooking. It might just be straight below me, right? Yeah, it is. There's a hot spring. We're going to fall right down here. And if you come over here and look at the top of these trees, there should be an unknown just chilling in one of them. And I believe it's this one. Yep, there's my boy. We could probably hit him with a regular Pokeball, right? Yeah, I like that. I like that. Nope, a little high. Yo, we throwing high today. Nice toss. There it is our third one. We got two more left to complete all the unknowns in this game. And can I fast travel anywhere? No, I cannot. God dang it, jeans. My other game, I have so many more fast travel points. <laughs> but I already collected the unknowns in that. So I was just like, yo, let me, uh, let me do it on my other account. Get rolling for you guys. Just so I can showcase me just catching every single one of them. But then, but the fourth one is going to be over at the Avalux Legacy up on one of these uh, little ice pillars. So if you make your way over here, you should be able to see him. It shouldn't be too, too hard. I think it's the one right here. I think it should be right here. Yeah, I see him already. Hello, little buddy. Hello, little buddy. How you doing? How you doing, Mr. Unknown? I'm trying to fall perfectly, but, you know, we're moving all whack with this thing. There we go. Money drop. Money drop. Unknown's right here. And now we only have one more left, which is over at the Hearts Crag. Right, is that what's called? Yep, the heart's crag, which I can just hop on the bird. And we'll get grooving one more time. So last one right over here. And I believe it's at this waterfall. Yeah. I see it right there. I know exactly where it's at. See that little statue up top? It is all the way at the top of that. I believe you are definitely going to need Sneasler for this one. So make sure you guys have Sneasler. I feel like Sneasler comes in clutch so much for all of these. He really does. But if we make our way here, I'm going to get climbing. There is a little path full of items for us to collect. So if we want these uh, little... Uh, I forget what those items are called. You can just take them as you make your way up here. But use your Sneasler, climb all the way up here, and then look over on top of this rock. And it should be the last unknown in the whole game. In the whole game. So there it is, guys. Every single unknown location. Let's go now head to the Slacing Ruins and showcase what happens when you collect them all. As you guys know, the Slacing Ruins is located in the Crimson Mirelands, and I showcased it early on when we were at the Crimson Mirelands, the exact location of it. I'm just going to fly here before we actually finish off today's video and show you what happens when you finish up all the unknowns. So now that we have them all, we can run right through here with our weird ear. Beautiful. And look at this, yo. Unknowns will start to spawn here. Unknowns can now spawn here alongside with alpha unknowns, which is pretty, pretty cool. You can get shiny ones. You can do all that good stuff and just chill out here and catch as many as you guys want. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.